Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today is Happy Mail Day! Yay! I have a stack of envelopes. I thought it was nine but I keep counting it and it's eight and, and I don't think I have anyone gone astray because they were all in the one spot but um, so I have eight envelopes today. Wow, what fun! So I'm just going to quickly go through and tell you who they came from or wh who they are and where they came from and then I will open them all. So the first one is Betty Waldeck, and she is from Jacksonville, Florida. Betty now has a label. Woo! <laughs> That's cool. It's so much easier to read, Betty. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and then this next one is from uh, Karen Talbot. She is also known on YouTube as Fit Kitty. I call her Miss Kitty. You think maybe she likes cats? I don't know. Just having a wild guess there, you know, the fit kitty name and kitty cat here. But we'll get into it and see a little bit more in a bit. And she is from, sorry guys, she is from uh, Mill Village, uh, Nova Scotia in Canada. And then I have three envelopes from one of our collaborators, uh, Brenda Clark. And she is from Camrose, Alberta. And we often say that she leaves the... Um, envelope making machine on overnight when while she sleeps so that in the morning all she has to do is stuff them I'm sure of that that's what she does <laughs> so I have three lovely envelopes from her this next one comes from Susan Dunn and she is our newest collaborator um, in the um, happy mail movement group so now Susan doesn't have a YouTube channel so you will see her her link below, or not her link, you'll see her address below in my Happy Mail Movement um, description here. And uh, I will also add it to the original Happy Mail Movement so that you, if you go to follow that, you can see it there. And if you're going to send an envelope uh, to Susan, uh, just leave a comment uh, below saying uh, envelope going out for Susan. And, and hopefully she can respond to it or at least see it. Um, so, so that uh, is from Susan. Um, I also have another girl that will be joining us, uh, Linda Stiles, and she's also from the United States and she doesn't have a YouTube channel either. And she is going to leave her address in my description box. And so if you want to send a, an envelope to Linda Stiles, just say I'm sending an envelope to Linda. So hopefully they'll see it that way. Otherwise, it's going to be a surprise for them. And that's okay too. Um, and yeah, they, they both want to play along. They have been playing along with all the collaborators for a while now. So I think we can say they love Happy Mail. Uh, <laughs> this is the third one I think I've got from Susan now. So I know she's into this. And so yeah, please do feel free to send her an envelope and she will send one back to you as well. Uh, this next one is from Nancy Bissett. Hi, Nancy. Uh, look at that lovely girl on here. That comes from one of my images uh, in my coffee site. Love that little girl. Uh, Nancy is from, I always forget. Okay, Culpepper, Virginia. Gosh, I'm getting to know my, my stuff here. And then this last but certainly not least is from uh, Linda Barnett. Another Linda, and she is from uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Yay! So I'm going to get started. Uh, let's start with Linda. So you're right here on top, Linda. So Linda's from United States. She's put this uh, lovely um, um, stamp on here, the, these round stamps. But it looks like this took a little bit of distress here on the side. Nothing is gone. I, you know, it was completely sealed. But it did take a little bit of distress there. And she's decorated here. What I love about this is she used a window envelope. So she added some of the um, decorative papers that she's using on the window itself to the to the outside. And then you can see them through the window. Now, I don't know if that's a page or is it what you did like last time where you had a little pocket. Oh, it's a pocket or something. <laughs> so let's have a peek -see. I'm going to just take everything out here. And Linda has given me a note. I'm just going to quickly read it. It's, it just says, have a wonderful day. And she's got her address on here. So thank you, Linda. I love this. I'm going to put this back in the envelope. Inside the envelope is blank, but it's got the windows. So that is just an open canvas to work on. And uh, having the windows makes it a fun little flip uh, to open up. So she's given me some, I think these are 
they're not stickers, are they? No, I think this is um, an ephemera paper. Uh, fun little um, uh, rectangles that you can use for spot elements or for uh, clusters. I have a couple of stickers here of angels. Love these. And a couple more. One has owls and one has roses on it. Wow, these are beautiful. And then this one is also stickers, roses, and um, a seed catalog. Lovely. And then this is a little a little um, journaling card that would be so fun to write on. In today's rush, we all think too much, seek too much, want too much, and forget about the joy of just being. Ah, oh, isn't that the truth? Now she's, I, I think you've punched this out and then uh, put this little piece in there, maybe. It's really cool. I like that. Love this. And then... Oh, it's a piece of the paper. That is fun. So I can use this now, although it's I really like it. <laughs> I want to play with it. But I will use this in the envelope to decorate the envelope some way, somehow, so that I can add all of these other goodies in there. Um, so thank you, Linda. I'm just going to put that inside here. Uh, fun little ephemera pieces that you've enclosed here, too. Now I have a little tray on the floor here that I'm putting them into as we go along. So this next one is from Nancy. And uh, yes, you got to see how she's decorated the front. She's got some um, uh, really fun pieces on top here. What did you use to glue this down? Because it, it traveled very nicely. Um, you've got your girl here. And these are rose and, and flower stickers three different stamps. Um, I think you stuffed a little bit extra into here this time. <laughs> She's done some stenciling on the back here and stickers of butterflies. Love those. And then this uh, collage piece that she's added on top. So sweet. Such a sweet little girl. And inside. Now Nancy, if you get a chance to rub elbows with Nancy she has been super super lucky she's won a couple of uh, things with me okay she's used a book page on the inside here it looks like a flower book page or catalog page uh, she's been she's won a couple of different uh, goodies from me over the last uh, few weeks I think she's won something from Caroline from Brenda um I don't even know where else. And then she, well, you know, it was an easy win to win arm's length art from me again, but she, she won arm's length art from me. So she's just been having luck. Unbelievable. So if you get to know her, if you know her or get to uh, meet up with her, rub elbows with her a little bit, just so that you can get some of her luck. Look at these beautiful stickers. Oh my goodness. These are gorgeous. Love the color of these. Mm, I got a plan for these already. Already I do. I'm going to put them aside. Sorry, Nancy, I have to I have to use those on something that I've got coming up. Maybe I'll send one to you today. <laughs> and then she's made an envelope here. Um, this is really nice. It feels like oil paper. Is that what it is? Um, and she's got a little thing hanging out here. Oh, it's just a little note. Only a little pink inside. <laughs> Oh, just a little? Okay. <laughs> I think pink is starting to be more fun than than ever because people comment on my, my dislike of pink so much that it's almost become fun. It's not that it's the worst thing in the world, but it's just not my favorite color. And, and uh, she asked me if I was dressed in pink as a child. Yes, I was. I was pinked to almost near death. <laughs> So she's made this beautiful folded envelope. I Now I call this, this envelope, it's just my name for it, but I call it the Twin Peaks. Um, it's, it's just something that I, um, you know, as I was working on it, I came up with. I love this paper. It's very pretty. Um, yeah, I'd like to know more about this. This isn't quite the way I fold them, I don't think. Or is it? Um, okay, you've glued the bottom closed. And she's got a pocket here, here. And one at the back as well. But yeah, that's the one I call the Twin Peaks. So she had a little ticket here. Let's stuff that in. And then it's a paper clip. 
Um, okay, she's just showing me. Some people show me, some people tell me um, that it's a hidden paper clip. These are kind of, this one's kind of cool. Um, very neat. Beans and Walker. Okay, so I'm going to tuck that in there again. I never am able to tuck these things back in the way you guys uh, take them out. I have to always go back to the video at the beginning before I took it apart to see how it was. Uh, well, thank you for that. And then this is really sweet. Okay, so this is where you're doing the ribbon and lace and trims over top of the card. I, I saw that the other day on... on um, the crafting with eyes wide open in our group um, she was doing arm's length art and she was making uh, playing cards and then just adding la a layer of I'm guessing they were all ribbons and fabric or lace um, but maybe some of them were paper and then now she's uh, building on top of that beautiful I love how this little girl just is perfect within the club here on the card it, it just is fitting for her um, really really cute adorable and then some some um, vellum pieces. Now this would be, it's not stickers, I don't think, right? No, vellum pieces. But you could certainly use this in an acetate window to to um, fill in the window hole. If you took the, the the plastic out, you could put this in as a replacement. That would be really really cute. Love these. And then this is like a little file folder pocket it's got a pocket in the front really cute oh my goodness with the sunflower yes not very pink at all I love this and then she's got another little envelope or, or um, ephemera piece with a flower on it I recognize this paper did I send you that paper <laughs> or or did you send me this before um, really cute little piece fun and I love the double pockets on this this is interesting I think I'm gonna to have to explore this idea of the file folder with pockets that that's really cute love it well thank you Nancy that's awesome and not very very pink at all and I realize this isn't oil paper now it looks like it's um, scrapbook paper or something did you make the envelope or or buy them um, very neat anyway Okay, I'm going to put that back in here so I don't mix it up. This next one is from Susan. So Susan is one of our newest collaborators, and she's out of Mesa, Arizona. And then she's, uh, let's first go here. She's uh, used a book page to create her envelope. She has the round USA stamp. These stamps are just gorgeous. They must be making a killing with these stamps. Um uh, because they just look so good on these these items. Now she's given me a note. Uh, oh, hopefully there are a few jokers here that you don't already have. And well, thank you so much, Susan. <laughs> yes, I do collect jokers, and um, I don't think I have either one of these. I don't recall ever seeing this one before. That's really different. And um, this fishing one is fun, too. <laughs> okay. And she's giving... Oh, this is a different one as well. I don't have that one. Oh, I love the, the, the chicken on the back side of this. That's really cool. And then that looks like it's from... Is it from Arizona? No, it's from... I don't know. But it's a painting... And it says Joker. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. And then this one is cool. I've seen this one before. I don't know if I have this one. I've seen it before. Um, blue ribbon I certainly don't have. This one I probably have. This looks very familiar to me. And uh, Puerto Rico, I don't have that one either. You know, I haven't seen a lot of the Joker cards where it's not a Joker. So that's pretty cool uh, to add that into my Jokers. Yeah, so you've got a couple more here. I don't have either one of these. Love them both. Although my husband's not fond of raccoons. <laughs> we have nothing but raccoon issues in our house, in our yard. Um, very cool. And the fox. Oh, that's beautiful. 
And yeah, there is that same clown again. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I think I have this one or I've definitely seen it before. But thank you, Susan. That's awesome. <laughs> what fun. I will certainly add those to my collection from you. And I will decorate your envelope with something else. <laughs> um, so Brenda Clark, uh, lovely gal. Do visit her channel. You will enjoy um, all of her uh, videos. Uh, she she um, uh, creates all kinds of fun things um, and uh, has great draws too. Uh, Nancy won one of her draws for sure. Um, so yeah, she leaves the envelope making machine on overnight. We're convinced. We're all convinced. Even even Caroline says I think she left it on again. <laughs> and I love it. This this uh, paper says tags, tabs, and tuck spots. Isn't that the truth? This is so Brenda. This is so Brenda for sure. Um, so that what a fun envelope to send. I it just makes me smile. Uh, decorative washi tape on the back side here and of course butterflies and flowers I love it all love this new stamp um, I've got those two and you have to stay within that that uh, uh, 30 grams in order to be able to use them otherwise I have to use the other ones okay so I don't imagine there's a note she doesn't usually put a note in here but she's given me some uh, journaling cards some fun little paper journaling cards Another little piece of ephemera. Oh, there's two pieces here of ephemera. I love these things. They're just perfect to tuck into journals, aren't they? I recognize this. I think I have this paper or I had this paper at one time or another. And you've turned it into a little journaling card. That is so sweet. I love it. Mmm, this is nice. Rose, little tuck spot here, a little tag that pulls out with the flower on the top. Nice, very nice, and a butterfly, and roses, and in blue, lovely. And another little journaling card, yes, with this lovely lady on here. Oh, all these beautiful things, eh? Oh, this is very pretty. It's a postcard, I think. Yes, a postcard. Um, love the pink lilies on here. Love the postcard. And a message. You know, I was at a thrift shop and they had an unopened package of, I don't know, maybe 20 of these. And I almost picked it up. I almost picked it up. <laughs> and I would have been stuffing it into all the ephemera uh, as well. But I just looked at it and said, too heavy, too much. Um, the price was certainly right, but there was just too much to, to bring it home. It was a, a stack of them. I don't know, maybe 20 in the package or a dozen at least. Um but, well, thank you, Brenda. I love this, and I love this envelope. That is just so cute. And so you. It should say Brenda's tags, tabs, and tuck spots. Another one from Brenda. This one has this uh, happy flower on here and piece of a map. And, uh, again, that lovely stamp. Um, and she's used some book page. On this side, she's got some flowers and more uh, washi tape. Love that washi. That's gorgeous. And then when you open it up inside, it is a uh, book page that she has used. Another great spot for decorating. And a little card that says, is it a card? Yeah, a card that says, happy day. It's a little journaling card. And this is really cute. So this could be a flip or a tuck spot. And it says destination. <sighs> and of course, it has a butterfly on it. I love the stitching. Mm, the torn edges. It just all says yummy. I love it all. Another piece of that vellum. Now, this is uh, beautiful, too. And again, this can be used to frame. Um, you know, when you do a die cut, say, of a frame or a large square or a large circle, Keep that, that uh, negative die, die part and then put something like this in to fill in the hole and you've got an instant little window. So these are perfect for doing that. Wine recipes, main dishes. Okay, uh, Thai fish cakes with sweet chili dipping sauce. Now what wine do you use for this? Rice wine vinegar. 
combine. Serve with sweet chili dipping sauce, spring rolls, or crab cakes. But it doesn't say which wine. Uh, lime juice. Okay. Well, I, you know, I've always talked about doing a wine journal, so maybe one of these days I'm going to have to put do that and put this in there. Now, was this a very old cart, or did you do the sanding on here and uh, sand it back? Because I love that look, and I think that's something I'm going to have to play around with and do uh, for some of my own playing cards. Love it. Um, yeah, love the card, too. And the butterfly, of course. Look at the colors. You know... It may be a butterfly, but it's the right colors to go in my peacock journal that I'm, whenever I'm going to make that one, but <laughs> it's the right colors for that. So it'll be hard to keep it with this envelope, but we'll see what's left over after I'm done. And um, then I might get to put it in my, my personal stash for, for doing my journal stuff. Well, thank you, Brenda. I'm going to save your third envelope um, in between here. How's that? Actually, I'll put it at the end just so we mix it up a little bit. Now this one is from Miss Kitty, Fit Kitty, also known as Karen Talbot. Lovely cat on the outside of the uh, envelope that she's put on here, or maybe this was the paper, I'm not sure. She's uh, collaged some flowers over top, beautiful. She's got washi tape and a floral print all the way around. You know, this seems to be the way to, to uh, save these envelopes uh, and have less stress on them is to seal them up as, uh, as tight as we can. You've definitely gone over in weight. Uh, I, you know, I can feel it and I can see by the thickness, but uh, that's okay. It's fun anyway. <laughs> and look at the beautiful stamps that you were able to add on here. Where are you finding uh, stamps with bees and flowers? Unbelievable. And there, there are five, so that's like five cents, isn't it? Wow, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. On the back side, we have more collage flowers. It says, Happy Mail, admit it, you're smiling already. And yes, I am. And then, the, of course, the butterfly on the outside, love it. Okay, I'm going to take the goodies out first. And on the inside, oh, it's a calendar page. Now, I never would have suspected that at all. What a great idea. Love it. Love it. Love it. You know, um, when I open the envelope, of course, there's going to be all of these uh, squares. And I will probably play on that in the envelope when I start putting the journal together to use the, the squares, depending on what I have in this, this package that I can uh, add into this. Love it. Okay, so she's taped this up with some washi tape. And put all kinds of goodness inside. I don't think this is a personal note. It's a book page. Three-quarter span vinery. Cool. Horticultural buildings. All right. Love that. Love the washi tape. And then there are all kinds of goodies here. Oh, my goodness. Let the, be the beauty of what you love be what you do. Oh, this is awesome. Now she's done a gusset envelope here. Love that. Made with scrapbook paper of sorts. And she has filled it with all kinds of goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you have all these die cuts? These are beautiful. Ooh, ho, ho. Okay, so she's got butterflies and little windows. That is so cute. That is a chair. Oh, chair. And, oh, it's like... um. A movie set, a movie thing, right? It seems like. And then we have, oh, here's the, the uh, film reel with the film. And then we have a bicycle. And this is like a clock, uh, like a grandfather clock that would, um, that would be your pendulum at the bottom. And uh, kind of a flourish or decorative finish on here. Looks like a tassel sort of Oop. and then a window love that that is really pretty and another film piece I hope you guys can see these and then a larger film piece you must have the set that Caroline has I, I've been looking for this large die I haven't found one I, I bought one but it ended up being very small 
This is cool. It is a camera or a projector, I guess. Yeah. Proje oh, I got it upside down. Projector, yes. To show the movie. Cool. And then a smaller version of it. Telephone. Oh my goodness. Lots of these little things. So these are perfect to put inside those little squares, as I was saying. Okay, that's going to be a fun project. Going to do that for sure. Now I'm going to be looking th at things in your pay in your uh, envelope here that I can add to it. Like this washi tape can be added into those squares. So that'll be a fun thing to do. Oh my goodness, she is just gorgeous. Oh, look at her with the kitty cat. Oh, I love this. It's a postcard written on the back, and you've collaged this on it. I'm guessing. And then you put a real Canadian stamp on here. Isn't that fun doing that? And especially these are like vintage stamps. Is that a real one? That must be. It looks like uh, Queen Elizabeth and her sister. Or maybe her mother. I don't know. I'd have to look at it closer. But how cool is that? Love it. And then a circle pocket. Love these two. You know, I've been meaning to make them. Just haven't done them yet. Uh, I've done a couple of sort of started, but not, not finished. And there's some little stamps in here. So again, these are fun little things that I can add into that um, uh, calendar page on the little squares. So what fun. Thank you. And then another tag, special moments with some kitty cats, butterfly, flower. Love all the goodness here. And then this says seeds. It's an envelope. Beautiful. Miss Kitty, you sent me lots of goodies here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my. That is just gorgeous. Is there? This is a really thick envelope. This is really nice. Love it. Love this. That's a beautiful finish on there, isn't it? Do you have that die as well? That is really pretty. Really pretty. And then she's stamped a bag. Oh, that you're just like Thelma. Um, stamp this bag, I'm guessing. Like you've done the ink stamping yourself. I don't know. And oh my goodness. Look at all the goodies in here. See, I, I'll tell you, you, you were sending me all this stuff to fill those squares. Look at all these little gnomes. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and this bicycle with the flowers. Love that. Is that a sticker? I don't know if it's a sticker, but I will check it out after. And then she sent me some little tickets. These are sweet. Love them. And some, um, this is like a little page out of a book, but it's a little mini journaling card. And some, some honeycomb paper embossed. And another uh, ephemera piece. Another lovely ephemera piece. Mm, I'm going to have some fun. These are fun envelopes today I'm going to get to play with and, and uh, add all these goodies. Bow Water Invoice. That's cool. From Liverpool, Nova Scotia. And a music note. Um, it's almost like a flash card, is it? That's really cool. Like that. Well, thank you, Miss Kitty. Um, you know I'll be sending you some goodies too. And... Um, Lots of fun fun items here. I'm going to try to put some of this back because I don't want to mix it up with everything else. So you have to bear with me, you guys, while I put these things away. This is beautiful. Uh, it's very substantial. Uh, so I'd like to know more about it, you know, when you have a chance uh, to, to tell me. Okay, that that's... You've used a... One of those gardening cards, right? Did I send you some or did you find a, a book as well? Pretty cool. Like, I'm waiting here for you to answer me. <laughs> and and I'm not even online yet. So, so, so you have to wait till you see the video to be able to answer me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to tuck all this back in here. And um, like I said, I will enjoy uh, going through this again when I build your page. I've been trying to have a day to do that, but it just hasn't been working out for me to start working on my, my journals again. And I do want to invite everyone to um, see what I'm doing, so so I, I want to do it live on, on camera. 
Now, this one is from Betty Waldeck. Uh, yes, Betty has a new label. Love the label, Betty. Um, I have to sometimes go back to your other envelopes because the envelopes seem to take a little bit of stress. And I do want to tell you that this is how it came here on the bottom. And it's just held together by a little piece there. Uh, the postmaster told me, she said she didn't think anything fell out because she said it seemed like it stuck together pretty good. But it's really taking a, a beating on the bottom here. And I know you've had a couple that have um, gone through some stress. Now, I didn't open it because of that. So I'm just going to open it from the bottom instead of the top today. But that's the only piece holding on there. And then whatever here, you've, you've glued it. So I think it got spared at the end. But when these go through the machines, they can be pretty hard on some of this stuff. So you may want to consider that um, instead of adding your scrap of paper just on the front and the back, maybe do something where it overlaps so that you're protecting this outside edge a little bit more. Because that seems to be where you have the most stress on your envelopes. And, you know, I've seen some of the goodies you've been sending. So I really hope I didn't lose any uh, because I, I know you send some fun, fun die cuts. And so I, I'm, uh, you can let me know one way or another. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that I didn't lose any. Ah, oh, look at all these fun. They are so cute. Okay. First, I'm going to now open your envelope all the way. You must have the most incredible collection of metal dies. I love metal dies. I never get to play with mine as often. I'm hoping now that with uh, being representing Globeland that I will get to play with more. But you must have an incredible collection because you seem to cover every um, event of the year, like every special occasion. Like, look at this little chicky. He is so cute. And then the eggs are so darling and they just for you guys to know this is double layered so she's glued this on top now i don't know how many envelopes you've sent out betty but i do have to say that i had to glue those two layers of roses on top of each other and i was i had a blue streak in the air for for a couple of hours after i was done and you have done, I don't know how many of these little things that you've layered up. Like, look at that. And how many people you've done this for. Um, just amazing. I am just absolutely thrilled that you sent these to me. Betty, they are just gorgeous. And look at this one. So delicate and so pretty. Mm, love it. Um, this will be fun to decorate your page. And I can almost do just a book of Betty because it's fun to open these. Like I had Christmas so far. I've had Valentine and Easter. And I think you sent me some uh, Happy New Year ones. Uh, look at this. It's so pretty too. And this is what I mean. She's glued all of this little bits down. How? <laughs> Unbelievable. Butterflies. Love the butterflies. So sweet. Oh my goodness. A little gnome, little bunny gnome. Isn't that cute? And this is all layers that you glue together. You know, we, we could learn a thing or two from you. Oh, maybe it's, it's patience because <laughs> you have way more than I do. Okay, this is like a lucky penny, I think. I don't want to ruin this. <laughs> Look at this little chicken in the egg. <laughs> They are just adorable. <laughs> Look at those little feet. <laughs> just cute. And here's more of these layered ones. My goodness. Oh, here's another piece of the egg. Maybe it came off of one of them. I'll have to double check. And then she sent some stamps, some uh, used stamps to use, and a little piece of ephemera that looks like you've either stamped or um, um, got. Happy Easter. Love that. That is so cute. And then this lucky penny. Now, what year is that? 1972. Uh, without dating myself, I will. Okay. I was 12 years old in 1972. <laughs> you do the math. <laughs> and, oh, here's another part of the egg. So maybe it's to go with that other chicky there. And look at this napkin. This is gorgeous. Wow. That is just beautiful. Very pretty colors. Love the combination of flowers and the colors. Oh, Betty, just gorgeous. 
I, I'm so grateful and I'm, I thank you so much, Betty. And like I said, I, I know how much work goes into die cutting all of these things and to, to glue them all and to layer all of this is just, uh, you know, I know how much work this is and, and yes. And, and for all the people that you do this for just beautiful. Um, so yeah, if you're one of the collaborators and you have a chance to get an envelope from Betty, do enjoy it because this is a lot of work and I just love it. Thank you, Betty. Okay. And then I have an envelope from Brenda. <laughs> Yay. And this one says March on it. And she's got a little envelope on here and her a lovely pink stamp. And on this side, she's got a little stage coach and a lovely uh, Victorian lady made on a book page. And and um, the inside is a book page that is ready for me to uh, play with. There we go. And here she has sent me a circle ephemera piece. And a postcard, uh, or, or a, no, that's a sticker, right? Postage stamp sticker? Must be a sticker. Okay, I have to peel. Yes, it's a sticker. Cool. And then another collage piece. I love this. This is so cute. So this will go very nicely with the other one. I'll have to try and put your envelopes together. Another one that I can make a book of, of Brenda <laughs> if I wanted to. I'm going to have a book of Thelma, a book of Brenda, and a book of, of um, Betty uh, as I get going here. <laughs> Although there, a couple of your envelopes already went into the other books. But, but um, what fun. Love that. Some uh, German um, hymnal paper, or not hymnal paper, um, in in inspirational paper. It's it's um, uh, very old paper, definitely. Um, I would imagine not uh, uh, not so much a Bible, but uh, some type of a uh, inspirational uh, book uh, the, from from uh, Mennonite German. And I love this text, and it's a very old style of font. And so this book is probably uh, early 1900s or even late uh, uh, 1800s um, because I have several of these books. Love that. That's very pretty. So that could easily be used as a journaling card uh, with the flowers on it. So pretty. And another uh, lovely floral piece. Well, I am just blown away. I have uh, my envelopes are ready, so I just got to stuff them. Uh, I left the envelope making machine on once, too. Um, I'm getting a little bit sapped out here. Uh, sorry, guys. Just loving it all. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I have all of these lovely envelopes uh, to send out, and my envelopes will be going out on Friday. All of these that are here, so even Brenda, you've got three envelopes coming, but Brenda, you have a fourth envelope coming because you uh, were one of my participants in Arm's Length Art um, of the envelopes here. Nancy, you are, were also uh, one of my Arm's Length Art uh, people. Um, Joan, uh, uh, Joan of Arc, or, or uh Junk Journals by Joan. Joan's Junk Journals. Joan, I always mess it up. Sorry. And and then, um, who am I missing? Linda Stiles. And Linda Stiles is going to be a collaborator, so do check the description below for her information. And yes, send her some love. Send to her and send to uh, Joan. Uh, jo no, no, not Joan. Send to her and send to Susan Jones. <laughs> getting all confused here no wonder um so so i will be adding those four envelopes on with these ones uh, to send and then i'm still waiting for people to contact me for my um uh, 4 subscribers so if you were one of the winners do get in touch with me because i'm going to be sending stuff out to you hazel i have your information but uh the rest of you i need your information to send it so thank you very much to Haz um to hazel to um betty and to um, Karen, Miss Kitty, love that cat. And Brenda, of course, uh, for the all, all the different envelopes. And from Susan, Susan Dunn. Did I call you Susan Joan? I did. I called you Susan. Jo I had Joan on my mind because I'm trying to think of what Joan's uh, name is. On Facebook, she is Joan of Arc. But on YouTube, she is Joan's Junk Journals and More. 
Did I do it right? I hope so. And Nancy, uh, like I said, you've, I've got a Happy Mail envelope to, to send you and an arm's length art envelope to send to you and to uh, Miss Linda Barnett. Uh, so thank you very much, everyone. If you want to uh, send and receive Happy Mail, uh, be sure to just follow the information on my, my description below. Um, you can click on my link, which takes you to my introduction to... Um, uh, happy mail and you know how to go about doing it you want to keep your envelope uh, under 30 grams so that it's only costing you one stamp uh, when you're going from Canada to United States or from international to Canada uh, it may cost you a little bit more of course uh, because you're paying for those uh, to cross the the pond or to cross uh, the borders so but you that's why you want to keep it under 30 grams so that it, it you can keep the price down and just put a couple little goodies whether it's something handmade or some ephemera or some funny picture or an inspirational card I love it all, and you know it's it's just uh, uh, fun to exchange and send something back to you. I like to send back a little piece of handmade stuff. You know, I can't always send because of the weight, right? Um, and I I, um, I try to send you a, a pretty napkin and some ephemera or some die cuts or something. Uh, so I try to put at least three or four pieces, if not more. You know, I I actually sit here with the scale and and I have a big uh, tray of stuff, and so I put it on the scale, your envelope up on the scale with the starting point and then I just keep adding until it gets to like 29 and then I know that by the time I seal up the envelope and put the stamp on it it'll be 30 so so that's uh, what I do and we do try to use stamps uh, only because you know they look very nice and very artsy with our envelopes you want to decorate them a little bit I've uh, got a new way of decorating I don't know if you saw it on on um my last follow-up Friday video, but do go back and check that. I'll, I can probably put a link there just to show you uh, the, the envelopes again. Um, so it's just a quick way now that I'm putting them together and it seems to be working really well. Um, and also on, on my description below, or now it's beside, I think it depends on your where you're, you're looking on YouTube. It may be to the right now because they've, they've changed the layout for me, at least it's different. Um, so when you click on the description or when you look at the description, it says more underneath it. And then you just open it up and you will have all the list of participating collaborators. So Susan and Linda will both have their uh, full addresses there. Just leave a little message on my Facebook or on my YouTube uh, uh, comments to let me know that you're sending to them. So hopefully they will see it as well. Um, if you are a subscriber... Um, please give me a like and a comment. Love it. I never get enough of those and I never get tired of it. And, you know, I may not answer right away, but I do answer. I answer every single comment. So, so I love the comments, love the likes. And if you're not a subscriber, um, could, if you could consider being a subscriber. Um, so, so that is just uh, one thing I want you to know. And, uh, yeah, follow the other collaborators. If you want to get happy mail, send them one and they will send you one back. It's just a safe way for us to have fun, open envelopes and share, uh, you know, some happy mail and some happiness. And, you know, the inspiration in here alone is just well worth, um, uh, watching the videos and, and seeing the different things that, that you get. And yeah, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed every time when I see so much, care and uh, time and, and um, you know, fun that goes into these envelopes. It just blows me away. Anyway, before I start getting sappy again, <laughs> it is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday will be my Thrifty Canucks video. And yes, there's more stuff from Hazel. My goodness, we had fun. So I was supposed to start suitcase number three. Oh no, it's still, it's still suitcase 2.5. You haven't seen that yet, right? Yeah. So this is the second half of uh, my, my uh, second suitcase. Sunday, I will be doing another Thrifty Canucks where I will open a box. I'm just taking a break from that and opening a box. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot of, lot of stuff that I brought from Manitoba to show you. Friday will be follow up Friday. I have the flowers that I finished. I have my tickets and labels that I finished from Globeland. I have a few other things to show you that I finished. 
Oh, yeah. There's just so much that I've been doing this week. Just crazy. And then Saturday will be arm's length art. Um, I don't know what I'm doing at this point, but, you know, I will show up on Saturday and you'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll actually know by Friday. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, have yourself a very creative week, everyone. Uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye for now.